good cup of tea before you start painting it's a very good idea of course make sure you know no food or drinks are in your studio you know next to your palette or exposed paint of course it's just a health issue but you know, you know have to have a table literally about eight feet from my palette so I can keep it right there but anyway this is about tea you know what it's we can argue about tea or coffee or maybe something else um, I like drinking tea before I paint it just uh, give me a taste comfort and uh, and confidence I guess <laughs> I'm not sure why but anyway today um, today we're gonna do we're gonna talk about style of painting uh, I'm gonna show you the way I lately start paint I mean how I paint lately um, and comparing two styles of painting and we're gonna do a demo uh, how actually apply it on your canvas so for those who are new to our channels welcome I'm Vlad Duchev and uh, um, here you can find everything about painting uh, in oil acrylic gouache uh, drawing and so on and so on so let's get started All right, as I said, uh, today I'm going to do a, uh, a demo of um, scenery that I already painted. Uh, I, I did a study work, I did um, actually painting, which is already in the gallery, uh, which, you know, we will talk about galleries later on. There's another subject I would like to bring and shoot the episode, you know, work or not to work with galleries. Uh, but Today it will be a demo of a scenery that, I, as I said, I already painted. Uh, so this will be not, you know, complicated. It will be really, you know, really fast. Uh, let's jump on the uh, painting. And um, before we jump, yes, I start painting with. I think it's on the side. Is that my? No, is that not my? And um, yeah, I start painting with with this because I I don't like messing up with my clothes. All right, so what we're we gonna paint today? Today we're gonna paint, um, as I mentioned, this subject. This is the uh, um, image that I took on Lake Placid in New York, uh, Adirondack. Adirondack. I hope I'm pronouncing it right right now. Um, place uh, Lake Placid, a lake, or Lake Placid, uh, and I was um, actually in the water. I remember this scenery like it was yesterday. I remember this cold water. I remember the you know the colors of the water and the, all the feelings. And the reason I want to paint really fast because. If I start pulling this image from my memory, I can pull it only for a short period of time. If I start concentrating more and more, I start pulling some details, which I, you know, I don't like. Anyway, um, I did two studies. This is study number one. Uh, you can see it probably on the screen. Uh, this is a study on acrylic. But before this study, I did this small study right here. And uh, uh, this small style, you can see it on the screen, is an oil. So I normally start with four by six, as my student knows. Uh, four by six uh, in oil or in acrylic. This actually in oil. Uh, and I check the three pillars. I check the structure of the composition first. Uh, I check my values, relationship in the values, and then I check the Hues the color, make sure there is a relationship and everything is in harmony. Uh, if I like this small one, uh, which I'm going to keep as my reference, I move to the next one. This one I decided to move this little bit to the left, and I really don't like it. I'm going to 
actually on the big one I'm gonna extend this to probably half of the canvas maybe a little bit less make sure it's not in the center but rest is actually I like it so I'm gonna use this as my another reference all right so um, the uh, subject is very simple so I'm gonna divide it into uh, probably four shapes uh, main shape is on the left the group of trees then one shape under uh, that's greenish cast uh, on at the bottom and the left and then another I mean, shape is actually water kind of bluish water and then background force which was not really important all right so um let me squeeze the paint because i'm not ready <laughs> and we'll jump it i'm gonna what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use my palette knives to apply good layer first and it's really fast uh, working with palette knife and then uh, i will take the brush and start working with the brush as a second second phase of the painting so um, let me squeeze the paint all right so let's let's start painting uh, one of the probably most important thing I want to keep up with the timing not that I'm putting myself in time constraint but I just want to make sure I'm not getting into de you know details and pulling things from my my, my mind I, I just want more, more express ex it's expression basically I'll talk about this later so let's jump on the canvas Alright, so the first, here's my line, this is my main shape, this is my main shape, another shape, and here's a horizon line. So, the first I will apply this dark, and I want them to be warm. So I'm going to use burnt, burnt umber with ultramarine. And I'm going to apply you probably have a question of what I'm using as my as my canvas my painting surface and it is I'm not sure if you saw my one of my videos it's a gator board and okay so let me file it here orange much darker here Again, my idea is not to paint neutralize just because of that greenish greenish cast right here there will be sky holes right here later on I'm gonna push it down a little bit Okay, and now we have some green going through, but not get a little warm. And this side. I want to 
extend this to and very important is make sure that this has a step down another one and then a step down one and how I know because I think that and that I like that better than anything else and then here cast under which will go here and here and then we have really dark under and now what I do all right let's uh, finish right here now there's some kind of violet cast We'll have a sky hole here. All right, so Like this, and then it's gonna go. I'm gonna fix this soon. And let's pick up the speed a little bit. See, that's what I that's what I was talking about. This where are you? And I'm using gal kit. It's actually even wider. So I'm already adding white because there's no way I can do it without white. And I'm getting a gal kit. So this side is going to be lighter, much lighter. This is darker. This is lighter. And I want to put a little bit of burnt umber. to neutralize it. Yeah, it's going right here, so this needs to be darker a little bit. So right here. Because it's closer to us. It is closer to us, so it has that dark. It was a sand on the floor of the lake. Okay, and this part is actually getting much, much lighter, so I'm gonna mix.
And it has some bluish cast as well. This is not important, whole things will be right here. darker than sky so I want to make sure the water is darker so I don't have to blow you know paint sky lighter that I needed This part is actually much lighter because we'll have we'll have clouds right here. So I'm gonna put it right away. And of course, the waves will be this way. And I like it because I already feel like I have stuff on, I mean, layers on, on the canvas, so that's good. Now see that I can move that and I can really work with that um, uh, amount of paint on the canvas. It's taking a little bit longer than I expected. So keep in mind that we're going to paint our waves this way. So I'm going to start introducing, instead of this, I'm introducing directions of wave brush strokes. Okay, use left hand. I like using left hand as well. You can use both hands. I 
Swipe your brush always. Now, even on this, I'm going to take another same brush, use my left hand, and I'm going to harmonize this wiping here. And you can see it's kind of harmonizing. When I say harmonizing, it's I'm pulling some. Um, um, what I'm doing, I'm actually trying to pull shapes together. So. Okay, let me work on this. Let me take the old brush, this brush. Now this is, I'll oh, start painting. I guess okay, so this will be, will have some, all right, look, let, let me yeah, yeah, start painting. So now I'm trying to find shape, right shape, what I need. Shape that I that will work for me. Not for me, but for painting. And variety of of paint. And I feel it's a little bit dark part. Okay, so now let's And my brush is loaded with what I want because this is enough paint, but I need to actually load it with. more pain. Brownish cast right here and more. As well, but there's some element of greenish cast. Yeah, this cast. Needs to be uh, sky holes. 
Let's mix. And then on the cold. Uh, green, the gold green will be here, and the tundra is here. The tundra. Yeah, orange will be warmed warm it up, but different. Okay. Finish. This and we can throw we can throw green green stuff and green stuff will be here. Here, yeah, same value. Here and here. Then let's put no more punch to it. And that punch will be that will be the final punch. This punch will be a little bit more. We can add in a little bit more. You know, what I see on. Actually, this painting is going to look different than what I painted before. So I like that. I'm trying to find the expression of it. There's some highlights over there, but I like the make sure you not overdo it. That's important. Don't overdo it. Mm -hmm. 
let's leave it for for now and let's mix intermediate color and when i said intermediate color i mean this color so i'm trying to put on top something that is what i mean this is um king's blue by Asari, and i'm mixing with this color that I was mixing. So I want to make sure I have that. And I'm introducing new colors, completely new color. And there's some like this reflection here, and this reflection here. This big reflection of the sky. Going out to the green, I like that. Um, Okay.
it's not detailed this is i'm not drawing rocks or something i'm just indicating so there is some stuff that and push it away There's an orange, orangey, orangey bunches right here. Oops. Small dots that helps a lot. Right right here. Sometimes the edge is darker. So. So this is not important, that's why I'm not paying attention to this side. Important in this. I want to speak, you know, do your viewers to see that. You know what? There's a punch. I missed. This is catching light as well. Yes. All right. And then we just We'll just sign it.
And that's all. I, I like it. Maybe I'll come back and do a little bit more on this. This needs to dry before applying. Just maybe fix right here. But rest is working fine with I'm looking at all the it actually looks different than what I painted. Um, yeah, maybe lighter here, a little bit. Just small, small touches. But it's actually it's done. All right, so this is the demo uh, of, you know what, it took a little bit longer. <laughs> For some reason, when I paint in front of the camera, it's Take just longer. Uh, when you paint without cameras, it's going much faster and more free. Uh, but I enjoyed. Um, yeah, let's not look at that. All right. So if you have any questions, um, shoot comments. Uh, connect me with uh, through my website. There's a contact form. You can sign up. You can send me uh, whatever you think. If you have any questions. Uh, whatever you you know any questions that's it that's all um if you're new to my channel please don't forget click on the bell click on the like and most important subscribe i think actually people saying that uh the you know like is very important to boost the channel so like 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 please if you like if you don't like don't click on like all right anyway if you have any questions please um Shoot me a message or leave a comment below in the description or in the comment area. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. God be with you. By the way, forgot to mention that next episode will be about focal point. Uh, what is the focal point and how to work, you know, to get to the focal point.